the science people, the tech people, British Columbia, Canada is looking for you. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new in this channel, welcome and please consider subscribing. If you are returning back to watch my videos and you're my subscriber, thank you so much. In my previous videos, I've talked about express entry, which is one of the pathways to Canada. So today I'm going to talk about the British Columbia Provincial Nominee Program Tech, which is another pathway that people enter Canada. In this program, you can enter Canada without showing the proof of settlement funds, without taking the IELTS exam, and without having the LMIA document, which is needed for some workers to enter Canada. Canada has 10 provinces, and each province has its own employment needs and requirements. So if you apply to a particular province and you get nominated, you will be required to live in that particular province for at least two years. Right now, British Columbia province has a program called BC PNP Tech, which stands for British Columbia Provincial Nominee Program Tech. This program was a pilot program, but now it's a permanent program and anyone from any part of the world can apply for the jobs listed if they have the work experience and the skills uh, in those particular jobs. To see which are the 29 listed occupations, let's go together to my computer screen so that we can look into it. I'm at my computer screen right now and uh, before me, I have a list of 29 eligible occupations for BCP and PTEC. Uh, to get to this list, the website is welcomebc.ca. Once again, the website is B, uh, I mean welcomebc.ca. And uh, I'm going to, to read through job number one. We have 01. 0131 telecommunication carriers managers, 0213 computer and information systems managers, 0512 managers publishing motion pictures, broadcasting and performing arts, 2131 civil engineers, 2132 mechanical engineers, 2133 electrical and electronics engineers, 2134 chemical engineers, 2147 computer engineers except software engineers and designers, 2171 information systems analysts and consultants, 2172 data, database analysts and data administrators, 2173 software engineers and designers, 2174 computer programmers in, and interactive media developers, uh, 21 uh, 75 web designers and developers, 2221 biological technologists and technicians, 2241 electrical and electronics engineering technologists and technicians, 2242 electronic service technicians in brackets, household and business equipment. Let's scroll down. It's a long, it's a long list. Okay, 2243 industrial instrument technicians and mechanics, 2281 computer network technicians, 2282 user support technicians, 2283 information systems testing technicians, 5121 authors and writers, 5122 editors, 5125 translators, terminologists and interpreters, 5224 broadcasting technicians, 5225 audio and video recording technicians, 5226 other technical and coordinating occupations in motion pictures, broadcasting and the performing arts, 
5227 support occupations in motion pictures, broadcasting, photography, and the performing arts. 5241 graphic designers and illustrators. 6221 technical sales specialists and whole, I mean dash wholesale trade. In case you have the skill sets and work experience in any of these occupations, regardless of what part of the world you come from, you can uh, apply for these jobs. If you don't have the skills or work experience in these uh, occupations, but you know a relative, a friend, a neighbor, or a co-worker, Please share with them so that they can try and see if they can be nominated. To learn more about the stages for this process, simply come to uh, Immigrate to BC and then click on the BC PNP Skills Immigration. And after you click on that, scroll down to where it says Skills Immigration Process. And then you will see the stages uh, involved in this process should you wish to try. So the first stage is going to be registration. The second stage is going to be invitation. The third stage is going to be application. And the fourth stage is going to be nomination. So, so if you're interested in applying, uh, simply sit down and go over everything because I'm not going to go uh, over everything in this short video. Let's read a little bit about the BCPNP tag. This page was last updated on May 28, 2021, so it's current because it's re it was recently updated. The BCPNP tag pilot has been extended indefinitely and renamed BCPNP tag to provide BC tag employers with the continued ability to recruit and retain international talent when local skilled workers are unavailable. So previously this program was called uh, uh, BC uh, pilot program and now it's uh, a P, uh, BC PNP tech. BC PNP tech offers people 29 tech occupations, a prioritized pathway to permanent residency, and an opportunity to contribute to the province's shared prosperity and build a great life here in British Columbia. I'm going to scroll down to the second last paragraph that states that in support of these priorities, BCP and PTEC has supported over 6,000 tech workers to be nominated for permanent residence since its launch in May 2017. BCP and PTEC helps ensure the technology sector can attract and retain the talent it needs to sustain and grow the sector further. Let's look at the BCP and PTEC features. BCP and PTEC features are based on service, timeliness, prioritization, and engagement in response to the needs of the industry. Uh, service. A dedicated BCPNP concierge for tech employ employers provides tailored information and navigation assistance for immigration and programs and processes. Timeliness, weekly invitations to apply are issued to qualified skilled tech workers, minimizing the, the weight of employers and their prospective employees. Prioritization, tech applications are prioritized during processing to meet the sector's fast-paced demands. Engagement. Continuous support is provided to tech sector employers throughout proactive engagement activities and participation at key industry events. BCP and P tech job offers. If your employee applies with a valid job offer under one of the 29 eligible occupations, their job must be for at least one year in brackets 365 days and the job offer must have at least 120 days remaining at the time of application to the bcp and p program this program is the first test pathway to canadian permanent residency so if you don't have the skills and you don't have the work experience in the listed occupations 
but you know someone who can benefit from this, please share with them so that they can try. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to see you in my next video.